I wonder if you've ever had this moment where you've like gotten an email or done a training or you've gotten like a DM from somebody and you just feel like it's just so cringy. It's just so blah. And you, it reinforces that belief that you hate marketing, that you can't do marketing, that you're just going to wait for the next person to walk through your door or get referred to you because you're not going to do marketing. You're not going to do what the gurus say. You're not going to follow this formula. And I want to come on today and tell you, you don't have to follow the formula. I, I'm asking you, what are you watching other people do that you feel like you could do it better? Where do you watch videos and you're like, oh my God, they just take so long to get to the point and they, they waste too much time saying hello to the people who get on and it drives you crazy, right? But this is what the big names are doing. And you tell yourself you have to do it like that. I am here today to tell you really we can take the best practices of all that we love and make things our own. I, I was sparked by this memory of a, of a story. I was 26 years old. I was on a downtown bus in New York City. I was living in New York City and I was kind of on the cusp of being done with it. And I looked at a woman on the bus, so this was 1996. I was listening to my Walkman and she's reading Moby Dick. And I'm like, who the hell would read Moby Dick? Why would anybody want to read that? And it kind of transported me right back to 11th grade, where I was like, why did Miss Wolf have us read that? It was such a horrible book. And I really started thinking about teachers that I had and how I thought they could just do it better. Like, why can't teachers teach English or books or literature in a way that would engage students, right? Or engage high schoolers. And that thought alone, could I do it better? Could I do it differently? That thought stuck in my mind for two years before I actually got the courage and the gumption to go apply to graduate school to become a teacher because I wanted to do it better. I wanted to do it differently than how anybody had ever done it for me before. What is that for you? What is it that you want to do differently? Do you want to bring something to the world that you're just so sick of the way everybody else is doing it and you have a new way or you do it differently or you do it better or you do it easier or you do it faster? Whatever that is, yes, you need to bring it to the world and then you need to let the world know that it's there and that's where your marketing and your content and your messaging comes in. That's where we get your copy and your verbiage in. If you're not taking the time to do that, nobody's going to hear about your amazing thing that you are doing better than other people. So please let me say to you today, what if you could do your marketing better? What if you could do your content in a way that felt good to you? If you don't like fluffy bullshit webinars, don't give them. Offer something different. Do, do valuable trainings, right? If you don't like the way people slide into your DMs and kind of, you know, sidle up next to you and offer you something that makes you feel like really yucky, don't do that. I really want you to understand you can make marketing and content creation exactly what you need it to be. And just actually today I was doing a Q&A with a group of people and I want them, I want you to know what I told them because you weren't there probably. You can make it your own and understand that it's an experiment. Every time you put a piece of content out there, it's an experiment. What worked? What did it work? But most of all, at the heart of it, what did you like about it? So please take this. What can you do better? What would feel good to you? Just start looking around and saying, I don't like that at all. And I really like more of this. And what if I did it this way? Because it's all just a freaking experiment. And you know what else? It constantly changes because our audience gets smarter and savvier and they will put up with way less. So we are constantly evolving. So please, as you think about what your content is going to be, and how to create content more easily, and how to have fun with it, and how to engage your audience, think about this. What if I could do it better? What if you could? If you are really struggling with content creation, I invite you into my new membership. It's uh, I'm launching it during February, and I'll tell you, I'm doing it my way completely. I'm not like following all the guru rules because I just don't have the energy right now after COVID to have put everything together before launching it. So I'm imperfectly launching it, and I invite you in for a founder's rate of $37 a month. You get to keep that rate as long as you stay in the program. And it's a lot of hands-on training, bite-sized training, planning, getting your questions answered so that you can get your content out in the world. I would love to have you join me. I'm going to actually drop the link in the comments. But if you have questions about content creation, put them in the comments because I am here to answer them. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Jen Liddy, and I would love to chat with you. Bye.